Zombie Apocalypse. Hello and welcome back friends and fans, Mad Llama Gaming here, and today we are taking a look at the newly released tavern management game, Traveler's Rest. This game was released a couple of days ago on Steam and has been a huge hit with the streaming community. In this game, you play an innkeeper who's in charge of an old tavern conveniently located on a path every traveler must go by. Throughout this game, you get to brew your own beer, run a farm, feed hungry travelers, and earn money to slowly improve your tavern. During this video, we will be taking a look at some of the initial gameplay. This will be the first of many episodes, so make sure to come back to check out the second episode to see how we progress our tavern. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Also let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the game, and any tips or tricks you have and wouldn't mind sharing. That being said, let's create a new game. Since this is our first time playing, let's go ahead and create a new character. You're able to customize your character a little bit here. You're able to choose from a set amount of hairstyles. I think I'll just go with this one for now. As well as with the facial hair. I think I'll just go with the small beard. Not too much to choose from with the eyelashes. I'll just go with the normal ones. For chest, it's really more about just wearing something extra. I think I'm going to stick with the plain shirt. And then you can also choose a hat, but I'm not really a hat fan. So I'm just going to stick without any. As for the back, it looks like you can choose different weapons. Let me spin that around real quick. Or you can get a shield, or a guitar, or a bow. I think I'm gonna go with this. Gives me a Deadpool kind of vibe. And then you can choose additional weapons for the side. But I don't think I'm gonna go with anything since I already have two swords. And finally, cloak or no cloak. I think I'm gonna go without. And of course for the name we're gonna have to go with Mad Llama. Awesome, let's start the game. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. Keep in mind that this game is still in early access, so there will probably be some changes by the time the game is fully released. We can see our lovely medieval tavern in the background now. Controls are pretty simple, WASD to move, shift to run, and then B allows you to go into a build mode where you can place various objects around the tavern, allowing you to customize it the way you want. Now that we're in build mode, let's go ahead and move these tables that they provided us with. If we right click the table, we should be able to select it. And then I left click when I found the spot where I want to place it. That makes sense. Now I just need to figure out where I want to put this first table. I want to put it in a spot where I can easily get to it, but it's not blocking any walk path. This might be too close to the only entrance and exit for the bar, and I'll end up blocking a lot with the benches. So let's move it a little to the left. Now I need to put a bench on either side of the table so that way people can actually sit there. I can also rotate the object by pressing R. We'll put the first one here, and the second one will have to rotate. Put it here. Oh nice, they're giving me a free candle that I can put on the table to add a little extra mood lighting. We'll try to put this as close to the middle of the table as possible. Looks like I have a bar book where I can go ahead and put the items being served for today. First I have to get out of build mode so I can interact with other items. Let's take a look at this bar book. So any item that I put in here will basically create the menu for today that people can order off of. And if I don't have any items in the bar inventory, then I'll serve gruel by default. I currently don't have anything in my inventory, so I guess we'll come back to this later. I get to control the hours of the tavern by clicking on the sign down in the bottom right. There's nothing else in my action bar down at the bottom. Since I have nothing else and no other quests, I guess I'll go ahead and open up the tavern and start making some money. Ooh, my first quest. I wonder what it could be. First customers. Looks like I have to serve six customers and I get another table set up, which seems very important, especially at the beginning. My first customer. Welcome to my humble abode. How may I take your order? We have some of the finest gruel in all the lands. Can I offer you some gruel or gruel? 
I have to manually serve each customer, which might get tedious later on. Eventually you can hire staff that will help you with some of these tasks. I hope you boys are enjoying that gruel over there because I literally have nothing else to serve. My third customer, I'm already halfway through this quest. I wonder if they have gruel? Why yes we do. Some gruel for milady? Nice, we have successfully served six customers and completed the quest. Looks like they want me to close up shop, even though it's 8am. It's probably more important to have two tables going at one time, that way I can double my capacity. Clicking the sign once put it in last call, but if I click it again I can kick everyone out immediately. I don't think I need to do that right now because I'll lose reputation and it's not worth it yet. Since the tavern is in last call, no new customers can enter, but the current customers can order one last drink or meal. Uh oh, a table has become dirty. Adding to the list of tedious tasks, I have to walk around and clean the tables and floor whenever they become dirty. Doing so will keep my cleanliness rating up and will keep customers happy. I can slowly see the reputation points pouring in as each customer leaves. Now that they're all gone, I can go into build mode and set up that second table. Just like the first table, I want this one somewhat close to the entrance, but I need to make sure that it is not blocking any walking path. This looks like a good spot, and it's right in front of the fireplace in case it gets cold. Just need to add the benches. Now I can open up again and start serving gruel. First let's make sure to put that candle that I got from the quest on the table. Exit build mode, and I think I'm ready to open up again. It seems like I have two active quests. One of them is to serve 10 bowls of gruel, which shouldn't be too hard to complete, seeing as how I can fit 12 people now in my tavern. Ah uh, yes, my second first customer of the day. Wow, only one person and they already dirtied my floor? Well I know who to blame for that one. If I press Z, I can go into tavern vision where I can see any speck of dirt. Tavern vision highlights any important item that needs to be dealt with and I'll probably just keep it on the entire game. I have to physically clean the floor by pressing the mop and walking over there and cleaning the spot. Until I hire someone, I feel like this is a task that I'm going to be spending a lot of my time on. It's important to keep the tavern clean, even if that means having a customer wait in line for food, because cleanliness will affect your reputation points. Is there just a pile of dirt outside my tavern? Because they keep tracking it in. Take that! In case you were wondering, I was trained in the art. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Here's your delicious bowl of gruel. All that tiresome traveling? Don't worry, you can always rest here. More gruel and dirt? Man, this is gonna get annoying. Take that! Here you are, sir. This must be what angels drink? Not too sure about that, I don't think they're drinking gruel. At least I hope not. Use your gruel. These guys are professional at tracking this dirt in. Uh oh, a table's dirty. They don't like it when their table's dirty. Might as well get that spot to the right as well. Hey yeah. Sorry for the wait, I'm just so busy fighting dirt. Oh nice, looks like that was our 10th bowl of gruel. We finally completed the quest. Now we have kegs of alcohol that we can serve, which is way better than just gruel. And some porridge. Nice, porridge and grog. You gotta make sure to add these to the inventory so they actually get served. First gotta help these people out though. Let's go add this to the book. Oh wait, dirt has struck again. Spray a little Windex on everyone's food, no one mind me. Okay, let's add the porridge to the menu now. Just add this to the inventory. And then the grog actually needs to go on tap. Ooh, that porridge sells for way more than that gruel. Alright, let's tap these kegs. Serve them real quick, and then I need to clean this table. 
both tables now and the floor. Hey, yeah. People are definitely preferring the porridge. First alcoholic drink ordered. This is actually a two-step process. I have to pour the drink, then serve them. Hopefully I remember which tab I used. Nice. Enjoy your grog. Alright, Dirt. It's just you and me. Take that. And this. Nice. I just completed a quest, and I got a floor mat. And unlock the crafting room, which is the door to the right of me. Here I can actually brew different beers and create soup. More dirt, it seems to never go away. Hiya! For this quest, it seems like I need to serve four more mugs of grog. Uh oh, both tables have gone dirty. Looks like dirt has struck again. One grog coming on up. Very well kept. Well, thank you for your kind words. Alright, Dirt. Meet your fate. I'm literally standing right here, and he goes all the way to the other side. Uh-oh, another Dirt attack. Take that. Man, why couldn't you have gone dirty while I was down there? I wish I could serve you, but dirt has struck again. Three porridges coming on up. And one for you as well. But tell that dirt that it's banned from here. Smack. Ah, uh, yes, some grog. Let me pour a nice cold one for you. Sneak up on this dirt. It won't even know what hit it. Come on, other dirt. I know you're lingering around. See? Just waiting for me to go back to the bar. And then it hits twofold. It's crazy. Disrespectful, some would say. Ah, yes, one grog. Can I see your driver's license? I heard the owner of this place is a cultist. My legal advisor tells me I can't answer this one. The only cult I'm in is the one against dirt. Hey, yeah. More grog. Oh, nice. We completed the quest. Darn you, dirt. Not even letting me celebrate. It strikes again. Gotta pour another cold one. I want to check out this crafting room, so I'm gonna go ahead and close up, or at least do last call. I guess I'll serve you first before I go to combat with dirt. I'm not even gonna comment about that remark. Oh wow, look at that reputation pour in. Everyone seems to be pretty happy. My arch nemesis dirt strikes again. Oh nice, I gained a level with reputation. I guess this is how you unlock things and progress throughout the game. There also seems to be a tech tree where I can unlock new recipes, but first I gotta go mano y mano with this dirt. Nice, all the customers are gone and the tavern is finally closed. Start off by putting this doormat down on the ground. First I need to get in build mode, then I can place it right in front of the door. Placing decorations will increase your comfort level, but putting too many of the same item will actually hurt it. Let's get out of build mode and check out this crafting area. Looks like I have my bedroom over here to the right. I can sleep here each night, and it also saves the game. I need to make sure that I don't stay out too late, otherwise I'll pass out. Over here should be the crafting area. I can unlock it for 15 silver. Let's do that now. Nice, and that actually completed that quest. 
I got some barley and buckets of water. This is the crafting room. The first thing I can make is porridge. I need to right click the oven to create the porridge. Each item has a list of recipes and required ingredients. Looks like I don't have enough fuel to create porridge, so I need to feed it some logs. Click on that. Now it has enough. I can add some barley from the quest that I got earlier to add additional taste. Let's craft this so it can begin cooking. It says it only takes a couple of seconds to cook, so I'll just wait around for it to finish. Six minutes left. I wonder how long that will really take. Oh nice, it seems to be done. Now I can collect it. I've completed another quest. Now I can build a malt house so I can begin brewing my own beer. I first have to enter build mode. Now I can place the mall house anywhere in the room. I keep forgetting to exit build mode. I have enough ingredients to craft malt barley, but I need to add some wood for fuel. Looks like this takes a while to craft, so I'm not going to wait around for it. Since it's already so late in the day, I think I'll just make some more porridge. I'll make enough to last me for tonight, just so I can make some extra cash. Can't forget to add the barley. I'll stick around and wait for this to finish. Nice, now I can collect it. Let's add this to the bar menu so we can start slinging some soup. I was really lucky, I didn't realize that I only had one porridge left when I closed the tavern. That should be enough for now. Let's open this bad boy up. Time for the night crowd. Finally, a customer. I was getting a little worried there. Of course, it's beer o'clock. I haven't taken off the tavern vision so I can still see the dirt, and I probably won't take it off. It makes it too convenient to detect important things, and it doesn't negatively affect your vision. One can feel like a noble in here? You better believe it, and we treat you like one too. Enjoy some of this homemade porridge. Its secret is llama sauce, but good luck figuring out what that is. I'll give you a hint, it's mostly spit. You want to know how I clean this place? Easy, I just ignore my customers. I wonder how much more grog I have on tap. What a lovely clean tavern, he says as dirt appears. That. Dirt's trying to take over my tables now. Don't worry, we use organic bleach in this spray. My tavern has become cold. I guess it's fireplace time. That's good to note that at 7 p.m. it starts becoming cold. Gotta feel this fireplace. Turn it on. Sorry for the wait, don't worry, I'm coming. Here's an extra cold one for you. Bring it, dirt. Take that. Just had a nasty run in with some bandits. Look, we got some good old bar talk going on. Tables, you got my full attention when no one's ordering anything. 
enjoy some porridge. You would like some of our world famous porridge? How about you too? Okay, table, bring it. Holding shift to sprint has been really helpful getting to and from places in the tavern. Another grog for you? I might have to cut you off. Fill your life with friends and your mug with beer? That's our slogan. Oh, I see you, table. There's no hiding from me. Sorry, but that new customer will have to wait. I have to deal with the table. Great place for a quick rest stop? Yes, it is. Make sure to tell all your friends to come by and subscribe. Enjoy your cold one. I really enjoy the background tavern music. It's so uplifting. Is the king himself coming? So tidy. Well, he might. You're just gonna have to stick around and buy more food. Uh-oh, the fireplace went out. It might be time to close up shop anyways. Let's get this thing cooking again, and then we'll deal with that dirty table. Or should I say, tables. Two cold ones coming at ya. Frosty. Now let's take care of that huge dirt spot. I might have to use all my training on this one. Everyone decide to rush the bar together. I can only pour drinks so fast. Very satisfying. Maybe you're not cut out to be a traveler? Well, that doesn't mean you still can't come to our tavern. Alright, time to kill three dirt spots with one mop. Take that. And this. Oh, you tried to pull a fast one on me? Nice try. This dude seriously needs to stop talking about his pig. It's getting late. I think it's time for last call. My strategy is to have a full house and keep everything perfect. That way I can get a bunch of reputation points at once. That being said, it's getting past my bedtime and these people need to leave. Finally, my master plan is working. Oh no, table, don't you try to foil my plan. I don't think anyone noticed that table. Awesome, now the tavern's finally closed, and I can place these coasters that I got from the quest earlier. They gave me an odd amount of coasters, not even enough to fill a whole table. I think it's pointless to even split them across tables, but hey, I might be wrong. Hopefully people will actually use them. Let's throw another log in the fireplace so it has some fuel. Alright, time to check on the items that I crafted. Nice, I completed the malting quest. Now I can create a boiler and place it somewhere in this room. This thing is pretty big, but I'm going to put it right next to the oven. Looking at the mash tun, we have a recipe for mild wort, which we have all the ingredients for. We just need to add some fuel. Let's start crafting this. This is going to take a while to craft, so we'll probably have to go to sleep and check on it in the morning. Might as well craft some porridge too. Can't forget the barley. It's getting late. Time to close up. Don't worry, I did that a few hours ago. I'm still upset that I'm awake at midnight. I don't think there's really anything else that I can do on the inside of the tavern. For now, at least. Let's check what's outside the tavern. 
Looks like outside we'll find a post box, a notice board, a well, and a farming area. The post box serves as a market where I can buy additional items. The notice board can be used to hire additional staff. Unfortunately, I have to have a reputation level 6 to hire any staff. I should fill up on some water since I'm out here, just to save some time. I guess these are just extra logs out here that I can collect. And a stick, but I'm not sure what that's used for yet. Gotta collect as many logs as I can because that's used for fuel. Here's the market that I was talking about earlier. I can buy any items here and it takes three hours to deliver. There's quite a bit of items on this list. I see a small table there for only 30 silver. That might be one of my first purchases, but I'll wait until tomorrow. Alright, let's go to bed before we pass out. Check on the crafting items real quick. There's the pass out reminder. I'm just going to craft some malt barley real quick so that way I can get it in the morning. Alright, let's go to sleep and save the game. Sleep? Yes, please. Here's the save screen. I'll go ahead and create a new one. Looks like all my items have completed crafting. Time to collect what has been made. Looks like I completed the boiling quest. Now I can move on to fermentation. Let's add this fermentation tank in the corner. I notice it's not in my action bar, so it must be in my inventory, but it's not popping up when I press I. I'm really not sure how to bring it up on its own. After messing around a bunch and pressing a lot of buttons, I realized that it was in the bottom left of my screen. I can't just drag it from my inventory right onto the ground. I have to go ahead and put it in my action bar first. Then I can click on it like normal and decide where to place it. Turns out that actually was the corner. Let's go ahead and brew our first mild ale. It looks like I have all the ingredients, so I can begin crafting. This is going to take a really long time to brew, so I'm just going to go ahead and craft some other materials while I wait. I'll end up opening the tavern before any of this is completed, just so I can make some extra money to buy items from the market like that small table. I'll begin crafting some porch, but just leave it here because I stocked the inventory last night. Always the barley that gets me. Alright, let's sling some soup. This is a good friendly reminder that I should stock up on everything before I open. I've done most of that last night, but looking at my inventory, I'm low on logs and water. It's really convenient that these logs respawn each day. Gonna fill up those empty buckets of water and get that log.
All right, I think it's time to open. Let's get to battle stations first. I still have a good amount of porridge left over from last night, but I'm going to add to that. All right, let's open this bad boy. I think that blue line next to the keg tells you how full it is. Dang, 9.50 in the morning, this guy already wants a grog? He's starting off strong. Looks like I emptied one of my kegs last night, I don't even remember that. Luckily this one looked completely full when we checked it. This place is cleaner than a palace? Well thank you sir, we definitely try. Yep, that one is completely empty. Here it is again with that cultist comment. Who's been talking? Must be someone who's friends with that dirt. Take that. People sure do like their grog in the morning. Am I supposed to take my shoes off? Well, if you haven't already, then it's too late. Hello, sir. Can I offer you a grog? 2020 vision right there. Uh oh, one of my tables is getting dirty, but I gotta deal with this person first. Mad Llama to the rescue, cleaning every table. I can't wait to add additional tables to the tavern. Doing so will allow the capacity of the customers to increase. However, it will cause more dirt and more tasks for me to do. Eventually, I will be able to hire someone to help me run this place and take care of some of those tasks like cleaning the tables or floors. But for now, I will just have to muster through until I get to level 6 so I can finally hire someone. At least everyone seems to be happy, and I've been doing my best to keep the cleanliness under control. We're doing good on porridge, so I think we can stay open for a while longer. I gotta keep in mind though that we only have one keg running, but there are more in the back that are brewing. I'm just not sure if they're completed or not. There's that cultist comment again. Seriously, who's spreading that rumor? Another dirty table? Don't worry, it's no match for me. A customer is being rowdy. Uh oh, do we have some negative Nancy here? Looks like we'll have to see if we can calm them down. Serve these people first, then we'll go deal with Nancy. Oh nice, another tech milestone. I also need to remember to spend these points at some point, but let's deal with this nuisance first. Uh-oh, looks like they didn't want to calm down. Now it's time to hit him with the broom. Get back here. Get out of here, Nancy. Get! Awesome, now I can go back to tending to my dirt. Quite a lot of it acquired when I was dealing with Nancy. Back to serving these fine people. Nice cold one for you, and maybe me too after dealing with Nancy. Making me run to the other side of the bar. This place is cleaner than a palace. Actually, it's former life. It was a palace. Still doing pretty good on the keg level. It's dirt killing time. I don't know how long this dirt has been here. Time to close up real quick so I can restock my bar. And we have a full house, so it should be easy reputation as long as we keep everything perfect. Yes, my evil plan is working. No, wait, this table's gonna ruin everything. Okay, cool, now everyone's gone. Let's go collect everything that we've crafted. The fermentation isn't even done yet. But it should be done shortly.
think I'm going to end the first episode here, but I want to buy that small table first so that way we can start the second episode with that being already purchased. We made some good money today, so I should have enough to buy that small table plus some benches. Let's make sure to get some benches on either side. Perfect. And that will arrive by the time we start the next episode. Oh nice, the fermentation finally finished, so we can collect that, and we just finished the quest for that. Before we end the video, let's take a look at the tech tree that we've been avoiding. Here I can unlock different recipes to craft items later on. Since I don't know much about beer or this tech tree, I think I'm just going to go with this one because it has more items to unlock later on. I'm keeping an eye on this one because it has wine that I can unlock, but this looks like a pretty safe bet for now. Let's see if there's anything else I can unlock. Under farming, it looks like I can unlock roots or fruits. I think I'm going to go with roots since it has more options and it has things like potatoes and onions, which seem ideal for a soup. And that looks to be everything that I can unlock so far. Looks like I need to buy empty kegs if I want to ferment anything else. I guess I'll head to the mailbox and buy that real quick. No, that's just a barrel. I need empty keg. There it is. I'll buy two of those just to stay on the safe side. Alright, well that should be here along with the table for next episode. Thanks again for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Also, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss the second episode where we will pick up right where we left off here. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts were on this game and if you have any tips or tricks that you would like to share. If you're still watching this video and haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you'll never miss a Mad Llama gaming video again. Make sure to check out my latest video and most recommended video as well. Also subscribe to my other social media accounts, links are in the description below.